The key to solving consumer price index problems is knowing that it is a ratio and proportion problem. The ratio of items of interest is equal to the ratio of the consumer price index in the corresponding years. As we read through the problem given, we're interested in the year 2013. Excuse me here while I get my pen. 2013. And we're also interested in a generation before that. A generation is about 33 years. So if we take 2013 and subtract 33, we would end up with 1980. So I'm going to make those into a ratio. And even though that ratio is not part of the math problem, it guides the way that I set up the math problem. So in 2013, we see that the average debt for college graduates was $35,200. So I put that number on the top of my fraction because 2013 is on the top of my ratio. And this fraction that we're working with right here is the debt fraction. We're wondering about the debt in 1980, the equivalent debt, and so I put that on the bottom of my ratio. Now I put my equal sign, and then I look at my consumer price index information. So in 2013, the CPI is 232.957, and in 1980, it is 82.4. So all throughout these fractions, I'm letting this first one guide me. One fraction is the items of interest, which is the debt in this place. The other fraction is the consumer price index information. Now, in order to solve a proportion, I'm not actually using this first ratio. This is guiding me, so I see the arrow here guiding me to do the rest of it. To solve a proportion, I multiply on the two diagonals, which is also called the cross product. So I multiply on these two diagonals. It's a little shortcut method to doing the actual equation solving. So on the first diagonal, I have 232.957x. And that's equal to, on the second diagonal, and I'm going to type that into my calculator, and I get 2900 Eight zero when I multiply the 35,200 times the 82.4. At this point, it's a one-step equation, so on both sides of my equation, I'm going to divide by this number, and again, I'm going to use my calculator to do that actual division. And remember, with equation solving, we have to do the same thing to both sides to keep both sides equal. And so on this side, they cancel. This side, I put this in my calculator, and I get x equals, and I get an answer of 12,450.71. And so what that number is, it's the equivalent debt back in 1980. So equivalent to $35,200 in 1980 would be a debt of $12,450.71. So not a difficult problem as long as we know most important thing which is given right up here and that it is a ratio problem and that we just set up the ratio using information from the consumer price index table.